Don't tell me you are still studying all night today, don't you think you should take a break? You barely rest or have time to go out and catch some fun. You are being too hard on yourself, don't you think? Gina I am not being hard on myself, I studying to show myself approved. You know how much I want to graduate with good grades. Besides I enjoy studying, it is my hobby. I rather spend more time with my books than going out there every night wasting my precious time and money. I think you should cut down on the way you always go clubbing. We are here to study and graduate with flying colors and not to be gallivanting and hanging out with different guys all night. Please don't start with your preaching this night, I am not ready for it. If you don't want to come with me, no problem. You are just too uptight. I wonder who is going to date a girl like you. Gina seriously when will you change? Your mom is worried about your lifestyle. At least change for her sake. You are being too reckless with your life. Those people you hang out with all dot the time are not good for you. They are involved in so many bad activities. They could get you in trouble. Please stay away from them. Please spare me the lecture. You are not my mom. I am a grown up and I choose what I do with my life. If you won't go out with me then stay back. You are just too boring. I am leaving, see you in the morning. Okay, please be safe and don't drink too much. Remember we have a test in the morning. Try not to miss it again. Whatever. Thank God you are back. I was sick worried about you. I have been trying to call you but your number was not going through. Get ready for class. We are almost running late. Yes, my phone was switched off because my mom kept calling me. I didn't want to take her calls. Meanwhile last night was wow. I had a blast last night. There were so many hot rich boys in the club. They were spraying money all over the place. You really missed. You should have been there to see how big boys roll. My friend I tell you, you are missing out on a lot of things in this life. This life is just too sweet and this is our time to have fun. Can we just stop talking about last night already? We have a class to catch. I don't think I can make it to that class. I am very tired and need some rest. You are kidding right? Kidding. No I am not, I am serious, I want to rest. My body aches because of dancing at the club. Do you want to miss the test? Don't bother about that, I have my ways. I will speak to the lecturer tomorrow. Besides that lecturer won't be able to resist what I will offer him. I really do not know how we became friends. I pray you don't destroy your future with the way you are going. Whatever. Hi, sorry for disturbing you while you were studying. But can you spare me a minute of your time? Okay, what is it? My name is Desmond and I am a final year medical student. I am Kate, final year accounting. Nice to meet you. Can I join you, if you don't mind? As long as you are not here to distract me, no problem. I see you in the library almost every day. I have been meaning to talk to you, but you are either in class or here. Do I just had to come here? Well that's because I am always learning or reading. And what is it you want to see me for? I have been noticing you for almost two years now. And I must say you are the most reserved and nicest girl in this school, plus the fact that you take your studies very seriously. I want to be close to you. I want to be your friend. Maybe we can become study buddies. I'm in my finals and I need to take this semester very seriously. I can't afford to mess up. Having a friend like you is really going to help me boost my study zeal. So let's say you will be my motivator. Okay, we can be study buddies as long as you are not a distraction. We are now partners in studying. That's fair enough. What is Kate doing with Desmond? I thought she said she does not like hanging around with a boy. See the way they are gisting and laughing. So these two know each other. And why does it have to be Desmond? Anyways I will ask her about it when we get home today. Gina you finally came to school after the test was written. I really do not understand you sometimes. Yes I changed my mind. Besides there is this guy the first like in school. I had to come so that I can see him. Don't tell me you came because of a boy. You are so unbelievable. You are not even bothered about the test you missed. Why should I be? Meanwhile I saw you with a guy earlier in the library. Is he your boyfriend? He is not my boyfriend. He is just a friend. My new reading buddy. 
Thank God he is not your boyfriend because I like him very much. I have been trying to make him notice me, but he never does. The guy is so cute, from a wealthy home and he is the dream of all the girls in school. Whatever. Since both of you are close, you will help me get close to him. I want to be his girlfriend. I can't be a part of such arrangement. If you like him, tell him yourself. I can't be involved in things like that. Please, I really like that boy. Please help a friend. Gina you like almost every cute boy that you come across. So I can't even take you seriously. Let's just drop that discussion. This little favor I ask of you, you can't even grant it. What the mate fro MDs for? Gina you know I can do anything for you, but definitely not the wrong things. What you are asking me to do is not my thing. Besides you should have some shame. Don't try going after a guy. Let me worry about that. It is my honor and not yours. So will you do it or not? I can't do it. If you are that desperate maybe you should talk to H yourself, one on one. But I would advise you don't do that. Have some dignity. Okay, if you won't help me, I will do Otisulf. Hi, my name is Gina. I always see you around on campus. Oh really? Nice to meet you, I am Desmond. I know who you are. And that's because I have been on your case for a long time. I want to be close to you. Can we be friends? Take a good look at me, I am sure you like what you see. I am sorry, but if you don't mind please excuse me. I am waiting hiding for someone and she will be here any moment from now. Are you trying to send me away? Not really, all I'm trying to say is that. My friend might not be happy to see you standing here. Besides I, not interested in whatever you want. I have a girlfriend, and she sits the person I am expecting. And I don't like it when girls throw themselves at me. You are a pretty girl, I will advise that you give yourself some respect. Okay, fine. I can't believe Desmond turned me down and I am sure it is because of Kate. I summoned up the courage to ask a guy out for the first time and he turned me down. I am so angry right now. Who does he even think he is? But I asked Kate and she said they are not dating, why then did he turn me down because of her? Maybe she lies to me. Now I understand why she refused to help me win Desmond over. I know what to do, if I can't have him then Kate won't. Desmond is the hottest guy on campus and he should be with a girl like me, not Kate. If I let this happen then it will be a big slap on my face. I have to stop them. I won't let Kate have Desmond. I will do everything in my power to stop them from being together. Thank God you are here now. A lady just left here. She said her name is Gina blah blah blah. I wonder how ladies are becoming so loose these days. She was actually making passes at me. Are you talking about the lady wearing red that just left the cafeteria? Exactly. She's the one. I hope you were nice to her. She is my friend. We live together. She has been telling me that she likes you. But I couldn't tell you because it's kind of weird to me. How on earth are you friends with someone like that? I don't mean to judge but you both are no match at all. She is obviously spoiled. I think you should consider moving out of the house. I even had to tell her that I was expecting my girlfriend to scare her away. She is not that bad. She is a nice person. Besides we have known each other for five years now and we are good. Nobody is influencing anybody. So there is nothing to bother about. Okay, if you say so. But I think you should stay away from her. Enough about her. Let's eat something before going to the library. I can see that you already met Desmond. Yes I did. But I don't think I like him anymore. So don't bother. Oh. Really? Wow. You are so unpredictable. Are you coming to church with me this evening? We have a program in church. Why should I come? You never accept to go partying with me but you always want me to follow you to your church programs. Well that's because they are two different things. Going to church is different from going to club. Anyway, you know my birthday is coming up next week and I will be having a party. I hope you won't give any excuses why you can come for my party. Oh yeah, that's true next week is your birthday. Happy birthday in advance friend. Save the wishes for the day. And make sure you are at my party else our friendship will be over. Gina but you know I don't like parties. This is not going to be just any party. It's my birthday party. If you call yourself a friend then you have to be there. 
Else I wonder what kind of friendship we have. Okay, fine. You don't have to be sad. I will be at your birthday party. I promise. Yeah, I hope you don't change your mind when the time comes. No, I won't. I promise. After all, it's just a birthday party. You know my friend Kate, right? Yes, I do. She is the girl I am talking about. Make sure everything goes as planned. Don't mess things up for me. I beg of you. Don't worry about it. I will do just as you said. Just make sure she is at the party. I will make the sedative available and then finish up the job. Also make sure my money is available. You know that what I am about to do involves a lot of risks. So I don't want to hear stories concerning my money. Don't worry about the money, money is not a problem here. I will give two part payment and when the job had been executed I will balance up. Okay, that's fair enough. I will teach Kate a lesson she will never forget. Let me see how she will be able to face the whole school and even Desmond after what is about to happen to her. Desmond I won't be able to come to the library this evening. Why, what's the matter? Today is my friend's birthday and she is having a party this evening. I will be attending the party. Are you sure you want to do that? You know the kind of friends she has. That party will be filled with all manner of boys and girls and you know that they will be smoking and drinking. Are you sure you want to be there? I know, I won't stay there for so long I just want to honor her invitation for the first time. I will just breeze in and out of the place. I already gave her my words. You don't have to go if you don't want to. You might feel left out and bored. I have a bad feeling about this. Don't worry about me, I will be fine. Besides the venue is not far from my house. Okay, if you say so. Just be safe. It's almost midnight and people are yet to come. Why don't we just cut the cake and go home? You know I have a class tomorrow morning. Don't worry, they will come. For the time being, what drink should I get you? Juice. Dot you already know that I don't take alcohol. Okay, no problem. Church girl. I feel very sleepy. I think I should leave now. Just wait a little longer. We will be done very soon. I think I need to go to the restroom and I also feel very sleep. Okay, no problem. I will be waiting. It's time. I already potted the sedative in her juice. It is beginning to take effect. Go and finish up the job. I will be right behind you taking photos of what's happening. Okay, but make sure that my face doesn't show in those clips else everything is ruined. Of course, I know what I am doing. Why do I feel so dizzy and sleepy? I just washed my face and I still feel same way. I need to go home now. Hello beautiful. Excuse me I need to go. Come on, you look tired, let me help you. Thank you but I don't need your help. Stop it, what are you trying to do? Let me go, stop this. Just let me have my way or I do it by force. Don't even bother shouting because no one will hear you. Everybody is home and the place is empty now. Somebody help. Hell, Kenny forcefully had his way with Kate, who was too weak and sedated and Gina recorded them. Now her plan just began. I shouldn't have come for your party, now look what has happened. I am so sorry dear, I wish I knew I would have followed you to the toilet. But why didn't you scream for help? You could have shouted. I am ruined, it will never be well with that guy. He took advantage of my state, I pleaded with him not to do it. I was too weak and tired to struggle with him. It was as if I was falling asleep. I really can't explain what happened to me. Kate it's okay. You can't keep crying like this. Let it go. Forget that something like that ever happened. Just move on. Please. I so sorry it happened at my party. Let's just pretend like nothing happened. Dot you don't have to tell anyone that you were about it. You know the stigma that comes with it. Kate how are you? Why have you been avoiding me for days now? I have been trying to call you, but you don't take my calls. 
I even came by your house by Gina told me you didn't want to see me. What did I do wrong? You did nothing. I have just been sick and didn't want to be bothered. Have you gone to the hospital? What's wrong? Yes I have. I will nay fine. Don't worry about me. Please I want to be left alone. Okay, if you say so. Take care of yourself. Gina have you noticed how everyone has been staring at me? And they are murmuring too. Do I look unkept? I didn't notice anything until now that you just mentioned it. They are all looking at their phones and looking toward us. I have a message on my phone. Let me check it. Gina I am finished. Now I know why everyone has been staring at me. Why? What is the matter? There is a video of me and that guy making out in the toilet. What? Are you serious? This is bad news. Oh no. What do we do now? I am finished. I am ruined. Everyone will now think I was intentionally involved with him. We have to go now. Come on let's go. Who would have thought? Pretender. You keep pretending like you're the holiest girl in the school, but behind closed doors you do the worst things. You are so disgusting. Pretender. You really have no shame at all. If I were you I won't even have the guts to sit here and eat. I would have buried my face in shame right now. Of all places to make out with a guy, you chose the toilet. You are so disgusting. To even think that everyone used to think you were a saint. You really are a very big pretender. Thank God for that video that leaked. Now your true colors are exposed. Stop crying those crocodile tears. It won't help. What did I do to anyone to deserve this kind of thing? Now everyone in school thinks I am a loose girl. I can't even step my feet into that school because I can't stand the staring and hate speech. I am definitely not going to school today. I don't mind if I miss all my classes. Who is that? Please go away. I don't want to see anybody. It's me Kate. I know you have seen the video trending in school by now and you see me as a bad person now. You shouldn't have come here. Well I don't see you as a bad person that's why I came. Desmond I really didn't do it. Someone framed me up and I don't know why. I know you didn't do it. I know you are not that loose. Someone obviously is behind this and I wonder who. You are the victim here. You were violated. And I will make sure I get to the root of this matter. You have missed lectures for days now. Please come back to school. I can't come to school. Everyone hates me. They say things about me. I can't stand it. Nobody will say anything to you again. I promise. I have already reported the case to the school authority and the police. The culprit will surely be caught. Don't worry, you will triumph. It's been weeks now and you are yet to pay me my balance. I call you and you don't pick up. What is going on? You are calling me too much. I already told you that I will pay you when I have the money. Is that not Gina? What is she doing in the guy's locker room? This girl is just too much. I wonder what she is doing with this boy that is so reckless and wayward. Anyways they are match. It looks like they are arguing over something serious. I will just hide here and watch them. You better make my money available by tomorrow. Do you know the risk I took to do that job for you? What risk are you talking about? Besides you had fun. You got intimate with Kate and it was pleasurable to you wasn't it? In fact I am not even supposed to pay you anymore. You must be out of your mind. We had an agreement. You asked me to do it while you make video of it because you wanted to ruin her reputation and we agreed on payments. Now the job is done and you don't want to keep your own side of the agreement. You better not dare me. Because I will deal with you mercilessly. You know me right. So Gina is behind this. I have to video record this. This girl is just so evil how could she do this to her friend. Okay fine. I will look for a way to pay you tomorrow. But after that I don't want to see you around me ever again. Just pay me that's all I have with you. Fine, expect your money by tomorrow. I can't believe Gina could do such a thing to me. I have been nothing but a good friend to her. Why on earth does she hate me so much? Based on their conversation, she is jealous of you. She thinks people like you more than they like her. And I think I am part of the reason too. 
She feels that I rejected her because of you. I am so sorry that this is happening. I feel so guilty. You don't have to be sorry about anything. It is not your fault. Thank God we know who is behind it. Yes and I have already reported and sent a copy of the recording to the school authority. Good morning everyone. It has come to our knowledge that some students here are involved in evil and mischievous activities. As we already know about the video of Miss Kate that has been making rounds for the past weeks now. Investigation has been made and I am here to announce to you that those clips are not what they look like. Miss Kate was actually framed by a fellow student who happens to be her friend and roommate. Thank God the truth is out now. I urge you all to drop whatever hate you had for her and apologize to her for treating her wrongly. She is the victim here because she was sediated AMD Routskin advantage of. The school management has decided to take actions towards those behind this. Which happens to be Gina and Kenny. They are hereby expelled from the school and of course they have to face the law because they committed a very serious crime which is punishable by law. I hope this serves as a lesson to all of you here. Beware of the kind of friends you keep. Because your friends can be you or make you. Choose your friend wisely and do not be unequally yoked. Have a nice day. Thank God I have been vindicated and my name cleared. I have really missed classes. Thank you so much for helping me clear my name. If it was not for you, the truth won't have been known. Come on, you don't have to thank me. God did it because you were innocent. Gina was really a bad friend. I have learned my lesson, though the hard way. Gina will live to pay for her sins. Thank you for watching, I hope this video will be useful to someone. Please share this video out for more visibility, it could be helpful to someone. Also, kindly support the channel by hitting on the subscribe button below, like our video, leave your contributions or experience in the comments section below and remember to turn on post notifications to the channel for more interesting and life-changing videos. God bless you.